The UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks moving toward the, I guess, the end of the unofficial first half of the season as we head toward the holiday break. The River Hawks on Saturday night will host Northeastern at the Songa Center, a 7 o'clock start, and Monday travel down to the Bright Center as they take on Harvard University. Joining us now, the head coach of the River Hawks, Norm Bazan. Norm, welcome. Welcome, Bob. Thank you. Let's uh, take a quick look back at the uh, weekend against uh, the University of New Hampshire. Um, give me your analysis. What'd you like? Well, the, there was there were two good hockey games. I thought they were a little closer than the score indicates. However, they both end up five-two. And uh, the second hockey game, as you know, it was an empty netter, so it's really a four-two game. However, you know we, we had a lot of chance to execute on Friday. Oh, I weren't able to, and then they, they put the nail in the coffin here with that uh, third goal. Um, Saturday, a different type of effort, different type of hockey game. I thought we had to kill three penalties in the second period that took away from us some of our momentum and uh, it got away from us. So it's certainly two good hockey games. Uh, we'll look to regroup here this weekend. Maybe I'm the eternal optimist. I don't, I don't know. I, I look and I didn't like the scores last weekend, but I liked so much of what I saw on the ice and had the feeling this team is getting very close to turning the corner to being where it wants to be. Am I crazy or are we getting close to that point? Well, we, we played some good hockey. We came off two wins heading into the UNH weekend, and, and I thought Friday we outchanced them and outshot them. So it was one of those situations where you, you have to be careful in, uh, in always bringing up um, things you can improve upon. I thought we did a lot of things well on Friday, and uh, certainly didn't carry over in the scores on either game. But we have to turn the page, and now here comes uh, our last regular season hockey uh, uh, opponent for the year as well as a non-league opponent on Monday, so it should be exciting hockey. Is there one ingredient that's missing that needs to be part of our game, or are all the ingredients there, it's just, let's get the results? I think it's a matter of doing it more consistently and putting it all together. You know, the, the goaltending uh, with the, the strong defensive uh, positioning, as well as the offense, I think it's, uh, when it all comes together, it'll be a pretty good product. Unfortunately, it hasn't been consistent enough. Uh, to all come together on the same night, and that's uh, something we need to improve. Is there a secret to building consistency, and is that secret as simple as something such as just 60 minutes of or 65 minutes of hard work? Yeah, I think it, it, it does revolve around hard work and competing and out-competing opponents. Um, we've had spurts. We've been very good this year, and uh, we got to revert back to that for a 65-minute game, and uh, we're capable of it. Uh, a lot of things have to come together on the on the same night, and uh, the, the work ethic is certainly uh, there in spurts. It's just got to come together for the whole 65. As you mentioned, Northeastern, our final Hockey East game of the first half on Saturday night. Uh, am I being overly dramatic, or is it indeed a must-win situation? Well, you bring that up uh, every single week, and I, I, I admire that. However, you know, there's a lot of must-win situations. Every game I play, we want to win. And certainly the team feels the same way. Uh, you, you know, it's uh, it's a tough league. I do think uh, five through ten is still up in the air. I really do. And uh, there's there seems to be uh, some separation with BC and UNH right now. And we've played those teams five times. So we'll uh, we'll look to make some uh, gain some ground every time we play. And uh, Saturday is the first step towards that. You say each weekend you want to see improvement. What are the things you're looking for on Saturday against Northeastern? I think that, that what we were uh, we referred to earlier is consistency in our competitive level. I, I think there's different uh, spurts in the game, different situation. We talked a lot about situational awareness, that we don't seem to have the same compete level. And, and sometimes, unfortunately, it's happened with uh, a couple of minutes left in the period. And that has to be uh, rectified from our, our standpoint in the sense that we need to know the urgency in certain periods during a hockey game. And the last two minutes of period is one of those periods where you need to be extra strong and make smart situational plays. You've used two phrases or words in, in, in that that I, I'd like definitions of. and uh, They may seem obvious, but I'm not sure that they necessarily are. When you say compete level, how would you define that? Well, that, that, that's a situation where you have to outcompete your opponent, outwork your opponent, out uh, maneuver him. There's a lot of different... Uh, parched to that equation but you have to win pucks you know the one-on-one -on -one battles is, is what consists uh, it, it really comes down to in a hockey game really it, whether it's a battle in the corner a battle in the neutral zone or the offensive zone you have to outcompete your opponent in that one-on-one -on -one battle and then it becomes a five-on-five -five game 
as a result. However, um, I think out competing is anytime there's a loose puck, you have to win that puck and you have to go into the battle knowing that you will win it. As much as hockey is a team sport, it seems as though it's a team sport that revolves around individual battles. Would that be a fair assessment, you think? It's a fair assessment. Ho hockey is such a wonderful sport because it is a team sport. So one, one part of the game is lacking and it really affects all the parts. And uh, the, the most talented group doesn't necessarily win a hockey game. It's the best team and the, and the, the, the group that wants to play together and be on the same page that given night. And that's why it's such a great sport. The other definition I was curious about, and I've actually been asking some players about this, is, is that word urgency. And I've used it on the radio, and then I probably have my own definition. I've asked players, some have said it's, it's playing with jam, or it's playing with an edge. When you say urgency, how do you define it? Well, it's all those things. You know, it's will, it's determination, it's edge. Um, really, we, we have some good edge in that locker room. But again, it's not about one or two people. It's about 20 people being on the same page and having the urgency on the same shift at the same time in the game. And that's something we've talked a lot about here the last couple of weeks. Now, uh, Northeastern, are there, and I don't want to separate Northeastern from Harvard, but at the same time, I don't want to look ahead. The next game's Northeastern. What are the keys to that one? Yeah, I haven't looked at Harvard, so we won't have to d dive into that uh, contest just yet. You know. Northeastern is a very talented bunch, especially their four group. Is uh, you're, you're looking at Carlson, you're looking at Vermeesh, you're looking at a lot of different players that can be offensive. And I think uh, for us, it's going to be a team defense first approach, number one. And number two is going to be one-on-one uh, -on -one battles. And number three, special teams. And we, we talk about it every single week, and we are getting better in practice. So I, I expect to see some results on the ice. Harvard on Monday, does that mean that for you, Sunday is about preparation for Monday? Yeah, it is. We took uh, today off from practice. We're, we're going to practice on Sunday, uh, regardless of the result on Saturday. And it's about preparation for the next opponent, but we're really not thinking about that. We're thinking about Saturday only at this time. And I think both Harvard and Lowell play on Saturday, and they'll both be uh, preparing for each other here on Sunday. And I guess finally, I think early in the year in one of our first sit-downs, you talked about a team developing an identity, a personality. How close are we to, indeed, uh, determining an identity? They're very much a work in progress. It's, it's uh, interesting you mentioned that because we talked about that this week, is really developing a consistent identity because we see some different things at different uh, parts of this season that have been very good, extremely uh, explosive in certain areas of the ice. But now it's a matter of putting in uh, into play effectively on a consistent basis. So if you can go three or four or five games, I'll start to believe that identity is is, uh, is a certain thing. But I won't believe it until I see that uh, type of uh, progress. All right, Norm. I thank you for your time. And in, in that this is the last time we talk uh, on video prior to, uh, I guess, preparing for the Bentley game, let me wish you and your family a very happy holiday season. Same to you, Bob. Thank you.